Good evening and welcome. It's time for another Spooktober educational video. So turn down the light, light a candle, pull the covers over your head. It's time to get spookified. So what's up with the jack-o'-lanterns? Why do we beat up pumpkins every year and then set them on fire? Well, there's two possible reasons how this tradition started. One has to deal with folklore, and the other one just has to deal with sort of the time of year and logistics. So, because it's spooky time, we'll go for the folklore version first, and then the other version. Now, mind you, all the stories about jack-o'-lanterns and why we do them and why they carve them have been muddled together over the years, but the, mainly the tradition probably comes to us from Europe. It has something to do with a story about a character called Stingy Jack. Uh, according to the legend, Jack was a devious fellow who outsmarted the devil time and time again. Jack, the town drunk with a clever side, met the devil one fateful night. The duo shared a drink and too cheap to pay for his booze. Jack convinced Satan to morph into a coin that he could use to pay for their beverages. As soon as he did, Jack put the coin in his pocket next to a silver cross. The devil was unable to change back into his original form, and Jack held him that way until Satan agreed to not to take his soul. Next, the shifty swindler convinced the devil to climb up a tree to steal a piece of fruit. He quickly carved the sign of the cross into the tree bark. A day, again, the devil couldn't come down until he agreed not to bother Jack for another ten years. Shortly after that, Jack died. As legend goes, God would not accept Jack into heaven, and he sent him down to visit the devil in hell. But the devil kept his promise. He wouldn't let Jack into hell either and imprisoned him to an even darker fate. The devil sent Jack into the dark night to roam the world for eternity with only a coal to light his way. Jack lit the coal, put it in a hollowed out turnip, and has been drifting through the world, scaring children ever since. Townsfolk began to refer to the figure as Jack of the Lantern, and shortly thereafter, Jack o' Lantern. People began to carve their own lanterns out of turnips, beets, potatoes, and eventually pumpkins in the hopes of warding away ghostly spirits. So that's the folklore reason. This is to continue the tradition of lighting a light in the dark to keep spirits away. Now, since all traditions or legends and folklore and mythologies are based on some kernel of truth, there may well have been in this individual, but more likely than not, most general assumption is that it just logistically made sense. Fall, you have a big harvest, everybody's getting ready for a long winter, You've got long, dark, cold nights. The world gets darker sooner. The world gets colder sooner. People are coming home in the dark late at night because it's got darker. Uh, you know, I remind you, this is Europe, and they didn't have electric lights then. So, you know, lanterns. Um, just have this big harvest. You have to get everything prepared for the long winter. So you've got all these things that you've prepared, but you've got some leftovers. And you know what it's... These leftover pumpkins and turnips are kind of heavy. In a big wind, they don't knock over. So, logistically, it would make sense to carve one of these out, make a pie, and then with the leftover, you could just carve a hole in it, put a candle in it, and leave them along the road. Somebody who's coming home late wouldn't get lost in the dark because they would see these lanterns made out of gourds and follow them home. In return, because of the weight of the gourds, they wouldn't get knocked over in the wind. So, the tradition, the idea of leading someone home in the dark using a lantern, well, lanterns are expensive, but these things, they literally grow on the ground. So, carve one up, put a candle in it, leave it out on the porch, daddy comes home, there you go. So that's probably the more actual, factual reason why the carving of vegetables and then eventually gourds and then eventually everything got muddled together in the great melting pot 
as people immigrated from Europe to here and different cultures sort of meshed together along everybody had their own story of why we leave the can the, the things out general belief is friendly spirits to find the way home and to keep away scary spirits so that is why the jack lantern and then of course when halloween started becoming a thing here in america we started lighting jack-o-lanterns and putting them out carving faces in them to scare away spooky spirits the tradition continued people began to be able to do this pumpkin carving thing really really extremely well now there are even professional car pumpkin carvers who can carve pumpkins to the point that they look like works of art all because a folklore story about an individual who is haunting the world with nothing but a coal and a carved out gourd to light his way or you could believe the other version and just assume that it was you know just a way to make a very cheap effective light that wouldn't be knocked over in the wind so somebody coming home in the dark could find their way home yeah that's probably the safer version of the story i mean i don't think there's a spirit doomed to wander the earth for all eternity with nothing to lead his way in the dark but one piece of smoldering coal that he put inside a gourd and made a lantern out of and even on these cold winter nights as the october moon rises over the trees and the wind howls and the black cat meows if you see a strange light in the dark it's probably not jack it's probably just a pumpkin inviting you home and to safety Elise, we hope so. This has been another Spooktober special from the OGGM. If you appreciate these, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me each 1,000 subs. If you're feeling generous and want to buy me a Halloween present, consider contributing to one of the many ways to support me or simply just stop off and say hi. Till next time, my spooky friends, with another annual October Spooktober spooky trip down spooky memory lane discussing some of the spooky traditions of this awesome holiday. Stay spooky, friends. <laughs>